What is up guys, my name is Defton, welcome back to some more GTA 5 Online Racing here on my next custom track, Threading the Needle. I made this a little while back, um, in a slightly different way, but um, I had an original idea which I kind of slipped away from and then I went back to it later on. Anyway, we've got quite the large lobby here for you guys. This should be interesting, especially since this is a, uh, a mayhem track, maybe that's what I'll call them, these tracks that I make that aren't necessarily about, um, who has the greatest driving skill of the pack, but more so about who has the greatest endurance, who has the greatest uh, reflexes of being able to dodge cars in all directions. This one has multiple crossovers, and it's a fairly small track, so there are bound to be some T-bones and some wrecks galore. Thus far, we've got quite the nice start. Anyway, I definitely like, really like this track. I, um... The, um, the whole reason, the whole thread in the needle part that sort of gave it its name, uh that you saw back there with the docks was uh I don't I'm I'm a little indifferent about that but there aren't any good ways of turning around at least that I figured out like sort of looking ahead down the road and think like I I'd replace that <laughs> if possible to be completely honest but I there don't seem to be any good uh, points where you could turn around anyway I'm going to be discussing the layout of the track as soon as I finish this lap here, which I'm pretty glad that this turned out as well as it did this little point here. Glad that I had all the props to set up these barriers, even though they don't like to go along the hill. Anyway, nice uh, sweet little jump that things start off with. The starting line needs to be somewhere else, because I, I wasn't too sure how I would handle what I uh, ended up doing things now, but one night I said, you know what, I really want to do this, let's do it. Let's get creative, and, and so I did it, so. Anyway, head uh, on and off the dock, I made things compact cards, just so things, you know, you can still maybe pass if you'd like. <laughs> I mean, it's certainly a narrow track, and smaller cars definitely make things a little more easy, give you a little more room to hang out. Anyway, got these sweet little parking lot uh, turns and stuff. With uh, crossovers here and there. Uh, and I thought this was pretty cool. You can take any one of these three little um, ways. All three of them will get you right back here to the street, to the checkpoint. Maybe I'll take a different one next time. We still got some time. I added another lap. Anyway, so we then head on this way. You can uh, take a little peek down at anyone who's doing that part. Let me head on back here. We head on down. We try a nice slick 180 and back to the star currently on lap three or four felt like three would be a little too short for a custom track wanted a, my custom tracks to really want to be able to show you guys look at how blue that water is want to be really be able to show you guys the full extent of my tracks and talk about all that I want to talk about so I always add a little like one more lap to the uh, sort of default usual amount that I do when I do these custom tracks. Now, I kind of want to do a little bit of a like drifting course in that parking lot, but I don't think there's enough props, and I don't want to make things too repetitive or... Don't know. Who knows? Maybe I will at some point. Maybe next gen, when I get twice as many props, I can, uh, you know, redo this track a bit. Oh, and I went this way again. But anyway, yeah, you can take any of these little uh, passageways. They all lead to right through. So I thought that's kind of a nice, unique little thing. Going through the parking lot. And then heading through the uh, areas where cars aren't even supposed to go. And here we are, taking one last, well, second to last U turn. Also, I hope you, I think you guys, I uh, yeah, hope you guys like my lovely uh, Rhapsody now. Before it was a little, a little different, but. I thought the gold looked really nice. The gold and black looks looks very nice. I, I do very much like it. It's <laughs> it's had this for a while. It's paint jobby. And here we are again, surrounded by this blue water. I mean, I can maybe understand the, with the ocean, but here in the dockyard, that water's got to be nasty. Who knows? Maybe it's full of chlorine because water ain't blue. Water ain't actually blue. Water's clear, and the blue is simply the reflection. Well, no, that's that's the sky. Well, 
Actually, no. Actually, I don't know. I think it's just the chemicals in the water that make it blue. Because, yeah, I'm thinking about the sky. The sky isn't actually blue. It's the reflection off the water. But that means that the water's got to be blue. <laughs> Watch out, bud. I'm getting all sorts of confused. I've got, I've just been talking my head off this episode, which is good. I'm glad that I've got all this energy that I can keep talking. I hope you guys are entertained by this. Because as much as you, I'm sure you guys must uh, also enjoy the, the whole driving, whole gameplay aspect of this, but I'm sure y'all come here for uh, my lovely voice because you can watch just about anyone play GTA. I mean, I don't think there are too many uh, GTA racers, but, you know, you certainly have plenty of other people to, whose uh, gameplay you can watch. And uh, if you're here, then that means that uh, I must be doing must be doing something right. Yeah, there you go, bud. Some people... I, th I think it only might have been one or two people that were just sort of... that didn't get that part and would get the checkpoint and then turn around and go all the way around because they, they didn't think to just, you know... <laughs> Take the walkway. Nice color, though, dude. That is a lovely color. I like that a lot. So what about this other guy? You must be a whole lap behind if you're in last, because you're, you know, about to pass the checkpoint, or about to cross the finish line. Oh, dear, do you... Are you missing the tire, or are you just that lopsided? <laughs> I'm getting your car all crushed up. Uh, you know, like a... Uh, like a Five Guys rapper once you're done eating. Just crumple it up. Toss that in the trash. <laughs> Hopefully your car ain't going in the trash after this. <laughs> well, it isn't even your car, but you got a nice, uh, nice bit of booty off that. Nice bit of cash for a race that wasn't all that long. Oh, someone else bet. Sweet. I'll be taking that. That kizzity cash. That's what I'm talking about. Getting rich. <laughs> Gotta make back all the money that I lost doing, uh, setting up the heist. I haven't finished all the heists. I'm on the Pacific Standard heist, but I'm totally stuck. I cannot get teammates who are competent enough to clear it with me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've been doing a bunch of car buying and stuff, so a little low on money. So I guess I'm glad I'm making some of that back. But anyway, that's the end of this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of GTA 5 Online Racing. Download this track for yourself off the Rockstar Social Club website if you'd like to play it for yourself. And, uh, you know, see how many people you can get in and what mayhem you can cause. Feel free to uh, send me any videos or screenshots from uh, any races you may get. I know not all of you may have PVRs, but <laughs> I'd love to see some other people race on my tracks. That would be really cool. But uh, nonetheless, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope that you'll be joining me next time. But until then, I'll be seeing you guys later. I'm out.